Hello guys and girls, welcome back to the Racing Line for another circuit guide here on iRacing. This is week 6 of Season 4 2022 in the D-Class Fix GT4 Challenge. Once again with me, driving the Aston Martin Vantage GT4. This week's circuit is Sebring International Raceway. The full layout pretty much and the date and time is set to the 22nd of October 2022 at 7.35 in the morning to match the official race time sent out on the Season 4 PDF. Same format as before, breakdown lap followed by a full speed uninterrupted lap followed by an off-board lap. And as usual, this is filmed before the week has begun so it's difficult to compare lap times but let's see if we can help you guys find some time around this quite long circuit it's over a two minute lap and there's plenty of braking zones to take note of so let's get started with our breakdown lap so on the main straight you want to slowly drift over to the right hand side towards the wall ready for the fast left hander of turn one you don't quite reach sixth gear here you can change the sixth if you want to braking zone the brown building on the right just as it goes out of shot hard on the brakes half on the brakes down to fourth Get it turned in towards the wall, and then when you see that cone up on the fence, then you start accelerating full power straight back up into fifth. Hold it to the right-hand side. There's the number three cones. That's where our braking zone is going to be. Straight line braking on the right-hand side of the circuit from fifth down into third. Get it turned in. Try and avoid the inside curb if you can, but accelerate from that curb point. Then keep it on the right-hand side as you flow round, and we're going to dab the brakes again just on that curb on the right-hand side that you can see in shot. Dab the brakes. Keep it in third. Hold it tight to the left again. Try and avoid the curb if you can and then get the smoothest exit you possible without losing the rear end. Traction is so important through that section if you want to keep your time up and your momentum going down this straight. Want to be on the left-hand side now for a tight right-hand hairpin. Braking zone, the four cones on the left-hand side. Hard on the brakes from fifth down into second gear for the only time on this lap. Down into second, hold it tight to the right, straight on that throttle look. Don't lose the rear end. Again, if you can keep that rear end in check, then you'll get as much traction as you can and maximize your run down these long straights. You could sort of want to follow the flow of the circuit as you as it's all way flat out through these sections. And then we've got another heavy braking zone coming up in between the four and the three cones. Slightly towards the three cones, hard on the brakes from fifth down to third again. Braking in a straight line, hold it to the left, try and avoid the inside curb and then smoothly apply the power as the rear end gets a little loose through there. Now hold it tight all the way through this left hander to the left hand curb and then back over to the right towards the outside of the circuit. The braking zone is the three cones on the left. Braking diagonally towards the outside from fifth down to third gear again. And then nice and open into this right hander. The track's cambered in nicely. Get straight on that throttle. Use a little bit of curb on the exit, but be careful of that grass because it can get a little bit lethal, especially if you lose your rear end. Flat out through here. Cut this curb a little bit. Keep it to the left because you're going to cut this curb as well in fifth gear. And then the three cones on the left. We need to try and carry as much speed as we can through these S's. So we're going to be hard on the brakes down to fourth. And then keep it in fourth, slowly apply the power, cut this curve a little bit with two wheels, full throttle all the way through here. Our next braking zone is going to be on the left-hand side past the line, you'll see. And we're going to keep it in fourth, so dab the brakes just after that curb, keep it in fourth, headed towards the apex, and then accelerate out using all the curb on the exit. Again, be careful of that grass on the left-hand side, because it can pull you straight off the circuit in your 1x and invalidate your lap. Or worse end your race. We've got a nice long straight now for a quick breather before the final corner, a tricky one. We're going to start turning in at the two cones, but we're not going to break until about halfway between the two and the one cone. Uh, so you can see we started turning in sixth gear about halfway through. That's when we start breaking. Trail breaking in down to fourth gear. Coasting through now, slowly applying that throttle, aiming towards that right hand side cone, and then you should be full throttle as you see that cone in shot right out to the outside of the circuit, and then back across to the right hand side ready to start your next lap and across the line for a two minutes 10.2. Let's go through the same stuff again, but full speed uninterrupted. So the brown building on the right hand side is where we're gonna break. Dab the brakes now, down to fourth, get it turned in, coasting in. Look for the cone on the fence, there it is, and now full throttle right out to the right hand side of the circuit. Keep it on the right hand side now in fifth gear, looking for the three cones, hard on the brakes, down to third, keep it on the right hand side, avoid the curb on the inside, smoothly apply the power, keep it on the right now in third gear, dab the brakes on the curb, keep it in third, hold it tight, to the apex and now accelerate out to the right hand side again being careful of those big curves on the inside of the corners because they can unsettle the car we touched them a little bit but it didn't really affect our lap time up through the gears over to the left hand side now we're looking for the four cones for our braking zone from fifth down into second gear hard on the brakes down to second start turning in hit that apex and now straight on that power being careful not to wheel spin or get on the grass you can see as long as your car is in a straight line, you should be able to get the traction out of that corner. Tried it in third, didn't make any gains. In second, gained about a tenth. So it's definitely worth doing it in second gear. Left hand side, in between the four and the three cones, down to third gear, get it turned in, coasting in towards the apex, smoothly apply the power, careful of the rear end. Hold it tight to the left hand side, up into fourth. Keep it on the left, keep it in fourth. 
over to the right hand side now as we go up into fifth breaking diagonally to the outside of the track at the number three cones down to third hit the apex and then straight back on that power smoothly so that you don't lose the rear end and maximize the traction for this flat out section over to the right hand side now as you go up into fifth gear cut the curve on the left get ready to cut the curve on the left again we're going to keep it in fifth third cones down the gears into fourth start accelerating now at the curve of the apex flat out now all the way through this left and then as the curve ends dab the brakes again keep it in fourth get it turned in once you've hit that apex then you can start accelerating using all the curve on the exit keep it on the left now you've only got one braking zone to think about all the pressures off you've done all of those corners there really is a lot of corners on this circuit and we've only got one to worry about we're going to start turning in at the two cones and start braking a little bit later start turning in now now brake down to fourth coasting in trying to scrub off speed but not too much as you want to start getting back on the throttle around about that midpoint and then away you go slingshot in your way right to the outside of the circuit and across the line once again for a two minute ten point two as usual, that is pretty much it from me. So I'm going to leave you with this off-board lap so you can get a good look at the track limits from outside of the car. Uh, don't forget to keep those comments, likes and comments coming in and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We're on about 7,200 subscribers and I think we were aiming for 10,000 by the end of the year, which is looking less likely now. But you never know. Maybe you guys can pull it out of the bag in like you did last year at Christmas time. It would mean, well, I, don't, I, I can't see it happening, but genuinely, if you guys do it, I'll be so... So impressed, and then 10k is a massive milestone that I just didn't think uh, would happen. But we'll we'll see what happens. Like I said, that's pretty much it from me. If I don't see you on track this week, and I'll see you next week for the next video here on the Racing Line. Peace. Thank you.